Today I want to share with you a really fun project, my nephew Zev's nursery. He's adorable, newborn, and the first baby in this household, so we wanted to give him a really, really special nursery. We knew we wanted a lot of color. Surprisingly enough, the first pieces we chose were fairly neutral. They were the anchor pieces of the room, such as this beautiful wooden crib. It actually converts into a toddler bed and also a day bed. All these bars come off, you can load it up with pillows and use it as a day bed. And with nurseries, it's all about personal family touches. My sister-in-law actually made this mobile for her son. She bought felting materials online and felted each and every one of these little guys. I actually thought we'd end up with just a bunch of these balls, <laughs> but I can't believe how cute these animals came out. She's really talented. Another great thing that we added are these awesome baskets from Pear. They're really, really cute with these pom-poms, but they're also very handy. They can hold quite a lot of items, so baskets, pillows, toys. It's gonna be really good when he becomes a toddler and you can just start throwing everything into these baskets and forget about it. The next piece we chose was this swivel glider chair. It's beautiful, classic, and simple. We knew it would go with almost anything we wanted to do. It also can be used later on. It's not nursery specific. You can put this in almost any room of the house. It's nice and wide, so the family can actually all fit on here together, believe it or not. We had this really awkward nook to deal with that we weren't totally sure what we were gonna do at first, but we decided to make it a really cute book nook. We put up little ledges for books. We also added a few cute books from the parents' childhood, which is really, really a nice touch. So now it's a perfect story time spot. The last anchor piece that we chose was this beautiful olive green dresser that we got at Creighton Kids. I was so happy when I showed it to Alicia and she was just as excited as I was about it. I was worried that she was maybe not going to want color on such a large piece of furniture, but she loved it. And olive green can really act as a neutral, so it can grow with Zev and be moved into different rooms. And right now, it acts as a change table, which is perfect for little Zev. The next thing we chose is this wallpaper from Chasing Paper. It's awesome because you can peel it and stick it. They're actually stickers that are four feet by two feet and make it more manageable when you're putting it up. We also really love the neutral ground and the doodle-like pattern. It's really fun. Instead of doing the wallpaper on just one wall, like an accent wall, I chose two walls so that it was a little bit more cohesive once you're in the space. Also, the window wall is what you see when you're coming down the hallway into the room, but then of course, we also wanted the crib wall to have wallpaper, so we did two walls. This is a really special piece. It was a gift from Grandpa, so we wanted to give it a place of prominence in the room. The only problem was that the frame was very thick and dark, so the lovely people at Elgin had it reframed for us in this beautiful wood frame that's very thin and lets the art really shine. This was a really, really fun project, and I'm confident that a lot of these pieces will be able to grow with Zev, including the wallpaper. It was a lot of work, so I'm hoping you're gonna like it until you're like 18, <laughs> something like that. <laughs>